and then the official White House party. We're now advised that the rain showers are just eight miles west of us. And if they are moving at eight miles an hour, that is indeed going to be very close to a tie as to whether they get here before the launch time. can't tell what that cheering is in the background there. Sounds like a uh, <coughs> high school cheer. Another large group of uh, local residents. Patrick Air Force Base uh, is uh, the active headquarters of the uh, Eastern Range Command, the command that uh, controls all of the tracking stations down out into the Atlantic Ocean out to Ascension Island and beyond, out in the middle of the South Atlantic. It is the operating base from which weather ships fly from here, rescue aircraft for these space missions. Not been needed. Of course, hope that they never will be, but they're on the constant alert. And this is from Patrick, where the astronauts take their rides in T-38 jet trainers in the days just before launch, as indeed have Conrad, Gordon, and Dean before the launch of Apollo 12, scheduled for this morning. 55 minutes until Apollo 12 goes up. President Nixon to be the first president to watch a launch while in office. He has been an enthusiastic supporter of the space program, perhaps not as much so as his vice president, who uh, in a grand state of ebullience immediately following the, the launch of Apollo 11 said, now on to Mars. Spacemen themselves have some doubt about on going on to Mars right now. They don't really have the technology to do it. And the uh, biomedical people are saying that they're not at all sure that we have enough knowledge to put men up for long duration flights. It would take a couple of years to go to Mars and back, do an exploration job of any real value. Uh, they want to do a lot of tests with the non, uh, with, with uh, simians, with monkeys, with apes, before they send men up for that long duration. There's Mrs. Nixon, President Nixon, Tricia. Our arrival at Patrick Air Force Base. Administrator, the chief of NASA, along with the commander at Patrick Air Force Base, and the, here in the background, the voices of the small children uh, let out from school at uh, the nearby Patrick Air Force Base school. Air Force Base. He's 
just got to fly on up there and then make the uh, oh, five, six, seven minute ride on out here to the VIP area. And he's got 51 minutes to do it. Plenty of time, I guess, but none to waste. had suggested uh, that perhaps the Girl Scouts might like to have an official representation here for this occasion. Uh, that invitation came after the president had uh, expressed an interest in coming down for this flight. And the Girl Scouts put out a quick uh, notice to all of their chapters across the country and got a representation from 48 states. They're all here to watch the launch. And some of them, at least, to greet the president. lunches or <laughs> maybe corsages or something. But the gifts look like uh, a little repast for this day uh, out at the Cape. They won't be here very long. The president's planning on flying right back to Washington after the launch. Helicopter fleet to take the president and his party on up uh, some 25 miles to the Kennedy Space Center headquarters. Well, it's our assumption that he'll be met by Dr. Kurt Debus, who is the head of the Kennedy Space Center. And Dr. Debus has operated this center ever since we moved into manned flight and has been responsible for this tremendous buildup of this truly American moon port. This is historic ground now, up here at Merritt Island. It was once just a bog of alligators and water moccasins. It now is the place from which man first set foot, uh, set out for another planet. And this is Mr. Nixon's first visit here as president. President Kennedy was down here uh, after the uh, Glenn flight, first U.S. manned orbital flight, but uh, he did not ever see a launch. Lyndon Johnson saw the launch of Apollo 11, but did not see any while he was still in office. And assuming that Apollo 12 goes off as scheduled, 47 and a half minutes from now, Mr. Nixon will be the first incumbent president to see a space launch. We don't know whether any of the Russians have ever seen, whether the Russian leaders have ever seen any of their launches. The, been no indication of it, many of their press releases, but of course that's the outstanding difference between the Russian space flights and ours, and that is the secrecy with which theirs have been conducted in the past, and the openness uh, befitting the open, democratic, free press, free speech society of ours in which ours have been launched. 